show you guys how to set up for a lap appy, which is short for a lap arscopic appendectomy. And I'm planning on starting a new series where I can show you guys the different setups for different cases. So if you'd like to see more of that, comment down below and also the type of cases you'd like to see the setup for. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Hey guys, okay, so here I am just opening up a pack. Um, which I've shown you guys before and I'm also going to be opening up the Bovi, some light handles and some trocars which are the device we use to insert into the abdomen so we can get the laparoscopic instruments in and then we also open up um, a varus needle just to put some air into the abdomen in the beginning and here's my insufflation tubing, which is where the gas runs through to go into the abdomen. And my hypos for medication. Lap sponges. There I'm opening up my basin set. Everything else I don't really need, I push off to the side, which can be opened later. Things that are too big because I don't wanna I don't wanna open them up my field and for them to fall off. It would be a cost to the hospital. Here I'm opening up my scope. Some doctors use more than one scope in in some cases. This doctor's one of those doctors. And lastly are gloves for both myself and the surgeon. suction irrigator which is used to suck blood and irrigate in the abdomen, some troll cards and suppletion tubing, my whole pack, another scope, and my basin set, and then my gown. Here are some extra things I leave on the side for my nurse to open for me. If I need them, I like to set them up very organized so that she's not having trouble finding anything. So here I am gloving up. I decided to skip the portion where I gown and glove because I have already done a video on that. Now I'm going to be setting up my mail stand. The mail stand cover has two slots, has a slot and it says where your right and left hand go and you just slide it over the mail stand. And I reinforce that with a towel just to make sure nothing sharp breaks through it and nothing will get contaminated while in the case. Now I'm setting up my trocars. Um, there's blow, both blunt and bladed trocars. Bladed trocars have a blade that helps puncture into the abdomen. Here's my insufflation tubing and my bovi, which is used to stop bleeding and also to cut through tissue. Insufflation tubing is used to get gas into the abdomen um, we first insufflate before we insert any trocars most of the time unless the doctor is using an OptiView trocar so that we are sure that we are not going to poke through the colon or any other organ. Here I'm setting up my medicine cups. Now for lap appy you'd usually want everything on the other side unless the doctor has a student with them or an assistant. Um, I was unsure because I, if he has students, most of the time he does. So I decided to set everything up on the opposite side of where I would if I was doing it with him alone. Okay, now I'm getting everything organized to bring my instruments up to my back table. I'm first going to reinforce the back table with a towel as I did with the mail stand and bringing my instruments over. Now before we usually open the case, we check the serial indicators and we also check the indicators and we bring the instruments onto the field. Here's my sterile indicator. If it's black, so it means it was processed. And I'm taking out my forceps and knife handles from the pouch in the case. 
I am now opening up a 11 blade, which is the blade most often used for laparoscopic procedures. If they are not using an 11 blade, they will use a 15 blade. And here I show you how to put the 11 blade onto a knife handle with the needle holder. And then I will show you how to put a 15 blade onto a knife handle with just your hands. I'm going to be using. I first put up some cokers and some towel, some penetrating towel clips which are used to bring the fascia up and insert the varus needle and make sure to make sure that the varus needle is in the proper position and you're getting gas into the proper area of the abdomen and not just through the skin. You want to make sure you're in the actual cavity. Here are the towel clips. Um, sometimes I'll bring up a cali or two depending on what doctor I'm working with. Some doctors like to use a cut down method, some doctors will go in blindly. It just depends on the doctor. Here are the scissors. I bring up both straight scissors which are suture scissors and curved nails which is used to cut the fascia. Here is a male Maryland dissector. It's a laparoscopic instrument which is used to dissect tissue in the abdomen. Here are my atraumatic graspers, meaning they're graspers that are not going to cause any type of trauma or penetration to any organs. Um, I make sure I have forceps. I bring up an axon and a rat tooth. Now I'm going to bring up some more instruments. Here are the Army Navies used to retract and a monopolar cord. Here is another dissector, which is a right ankle dissector. Not a lot of doctors at our hospital use this, but it is a dissector. Here is a suction tip, um, which is what goes screwed onto the suction irrigator, as I will show you in a bit. This is the suction irrigator. It has two buttons. The blue one is for irrigation, and the red one is for suction. Um, the other end that goes off to your nurse in the field goes connected to both the suction and a saline bag. Now I'm going to be bringing my light cord and my camera onto my field. Here is the cobbler end going into, I screw it into the camera head and I always check it to make sure it's clean. It can get pretty foggy while, during the sterilization process and the way I set up on my mail stand is the first thing I'm going to throw off the field is at top, and the very last thing I'm going to throw off the field is at the bottom. So it would be light, it would be light cord at the very bottom, camera, and then insufflation tubing at top. Here is my scope, which I also check the lens on to make sure it's not fogged up. Then I just organize the doctor's gown and gloves on the other side of the table where it's more clear and I bring out any other scopes I'm going to use. Here I am counting with my nurse, counting the Raytex. Now I'm going to be counting the laps. We count any needles that are on the field, we count bulby tips. Fred, which is the fog to clarify that we use. Um, that's that in my hand. It comes with a sponge and that's what we clean the camera up with when it gets foggy in the abdomen. And we also count hypos. <music> Once again, I am 
I'm just organizing my table, throwing a right tech onto my mayo stand because for laparoscopic procedures we mainly use right techs and labeling my saline pitcher with just NS which is short for normal saline. And here is the final setup. So that concludes our video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.